How's it going guys? Phil here and this is a review for the Sky Genius IP camera. You'll receive the camera, mounting bracket, a pack of hardware, power adapter, 40 inch ethernet cable, and instruction manual. My purchase of the device also included a free one year subscription to Amazon Cloud Storage which I received via email and had to activate separately. The camera is powered using this plug and the power cable is only 3.5 feet long so you need to find an outlet that's nearby or run an extension cord. Around the camera are infrared lights so this can see in the dark. There's also a microphone beneath the lens so it can capture audio. And there's a loudspeaker on the side to transmit audio as well. The LED indicator lights below will show you when it has power and whether or not it's connected to your wired or wireless network. In the back are the ports for the power, ethernet connection, optional micro SD card slot for recordings, the antenna, and the FN button. In order to use the scammer, you must have a computer, Android, or iOS device that can install apps. Otherwise, you won't be able to control the camera or view it. I've got an Android phone, so I'll go to the Play Store and look up MIPC by Google, and then install it. You can also go to www.mipcm.com and download the PC client. While that's downloading, let's set up the camera. When you plug the unit in, you'll see some of the LEDs light up, but it takes about a minute before it starts its motor calibration cycle. Once the motor stops moving, and the lights stop blinking, it'll be ready to use. For setup, connect this to your network via the Ethernet cable. Or if your router has a WPS button, press and hold the FN button for 3 seconds, and then press the WPS button on your router. Now open up the app. You'll have to register an account first before you use it. Go ahead and choose a username and password, and then sign in. Now you can add a device by clicking on the plus in the top left hand corner. This will bring up a screen to scan the QR code on the bottom of the camera, or optionally, you can type it in manually. Log in with the default password admin. It will then prompt you to choose a new password. You can connect the camera to your wireless network if you have one, and then once that's set up, you can unplug the ethernet cord. When you go back to the main screen, you'll see your camera in the device list with a thumbnail of what it's currently looking at. Click that camera and you'll be able to view it live. There are a lot of options for this camera, but I'll go over a few of the more interesting ones here. You can name your camera so that if you have multiple ones, you'll be able to identify them easily. Then you can set this name, date and time, and day of the week to show up on the on-screen display in the OSD menu. Next, there's motion detection and sound detection. In either case, you can set the sensitivity for daytime and nighttime to trigger events like snapshots and video recording. Note that you must have an SD card installed in order to capture video or photos, and one does not come with the unit. The motion detection mask allows you to block an area on the screen from triggering the motion detector, say for example if there's a busy street or moving tree branches. With the micro SD card mounted, you can record video and snapshots. You can also set scheduled recordings, and there's an option for 24-7 continuous recording. For the schedules, you can choose up to four different scheduled recordings. The recordings will have video and audio. At the highest resolution of 1280 by 720 each minute of video uses a little over 10 megabytes of disk space, so you'll be able to get about 53 hours of video on a 32 gigabyte card. You can change the camera's color and brightness settings for the best image, or set it in night mode for black and white infrared viewing in dark conditions. Swipe your finger on the screen left, right, up, or down to trigger the pan and tilt of the camera for nearly 360 degrees of viewing. With this camera, you can listen to audio through the device by pressing the speaker icon in the top left, or send audio to the camera by pressing the microphone, then pressing and holding the screen to transmit the audio. The recorded videos and snapshots can be viewed through the app and then downloaded to your phone. The resulting video is decent. It's not great or HD quality, but it's got enough detail for you to see what's going on. This camera has a lot of great functionality and makes it not only useful as a security camera, but also as a baby monitor. The whole thing was relatively easy to set up. Although the instructions aren't great, the user interface is pretty easy to understand, and it only took a few minutes to get familiarized with the settings. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.